Chris mentioned was the ability to do simultaneous voice and data. Uh, now, while this has been done before uh, on several other devices, this is the first time where you can truly have a real voice experience with a mobile broadband experience. Uh, and you have all of that rich content coming at you while you're still making voice calls. So it really is different than anything else that's available um, today. So, Fareed, let's see if we can uh, get something working with the simultaneous voice and data. Yeah, so what I'm going to try to show you guys is I'm going to make a phone call uh, to my friend Ryan. He lives here in, uh, in New York City. So I'm going to go ahead and dial the phone. And uh, there's Ryan. So this is just a earbud. Yeah, so we've just hooked this up so you can hear the call. Hey Ryan, it's uh, Fareed and Kevin. How are you? Hey guys, how are you? Good. Hey, uh, you know, I know this is kind of awkward. We're in the middle of this event, but uh, do you want to meet up for dinner later? You bet. Where do you want to meet? Uh, you know what? Uh, we don't know New York that well, but uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't we... Uh, well, you know what? We've got this book here. It's got a picture of a building. We don't know really what this picture is. Um, you know, why don't I use my uh, Evo 4G and uh, let's, let's try to figure out what this is. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, my Google goggles and you know, pretend for a second that uh, you have a friend named Ryan. And uh, you want to figure out where this building is. This could be a poster that you've seen on a subway station. It could be a magazine cover. It could be a book. It could be a monument that you're actually taking a picture of. What Google goggles does is actually a visual search engine uh, that uh, Google has stored a whole bunch of different visual pictures in their database and it allows you to go and search against that database and return results. So, hey, Ryan, you still there? I'm here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture with Google Goggles of this building. And what the Evo 4G has done is it's taken a picture, it's scanned it instantaneously over the 4G network, it's returned a website, and it has actually identified this as the Guggenheim. Man, I should have known that. that was. Yeah. Um, so you guys saw how quick that was. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, Ryan, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where the Guggenheim is, so why don't I just go ahead and click on the website. And uh, what it's doing is it's loading the website over the 4G network. And one thing you'll notice is that uh, this is a pretty big website. It's got a lot of animation, a lot of graphics. Uh, just like on your desktop, you can, you can scroll around. Uh, you can see all the different menu items. You can pinch and zoom. So if it looks like that actually has flash content on there as well, so it's the real internet. Uh, yes, it is, Kevin. That is flash. <laughs> uh, you know what? We believe in the real internet experience, and that's what we're delivering with the Evo 4G. 